Joe Fee must have pitched his product a million times before my wife, while we were at a Rochester cocktail revival event, ran into him. And yet, like an eager entrepreneur, he talked up the bitters and mixes his family built a business around in Rochester generations ago. You can now find Fee Brothers bitters literally around the world. Unfortunately for us, Joe left our world this week. He was only 55. A respiratory infection, his family says. Jack Watson joining us now with more on Joe and his impact on our community. Jack. Well, Adam, Joe Fee is being remembered precisely for his impact. We spoke with someone who worked very closely with Joe. He tells us what Joe meant to their community. This is video of Joe Fee from just a few years ago. A bigger than life character intent on carrying his family's business that dates back to the mid 19th century. It's uh, devastating in the context of uh, our food and beverage scene. Chuck Sarankoski worked closely with Joe. He told us just how much Joe meant to the Rochester cocktail scene. If he wasn't here in town, he was in Macau or, or Copenhagen or something like that, uh, spreading, the, spreading the, the word of Pea Brothers Bitters around, but also talking about Rochester and, and validating us as a city and, and, and showing our scene off to the world. Fee's family took to Facebook yesterday. That post saying, quote, rest in peace, dear Joe. You will be dearly missed. You know, there are a lot, a lot of things that I think a lot of us here in Rochester wouldn't have been able to do without him. Including the now super popular Rochester cocktail revival, which Fee had a hand in. While we'll miss Joe and we won't have him in uh, physical form, every time we pick up one of, the, one of those Fee Brothers bitters bottles, we'll think of our, our favorite Fee brother. And, uh, and smile with the memory of it. Well, Fee Brothers now makes 100 different drink mix products and sends them all over the world. Their headquarters is right on Portland Ave in Rochester. Fee's family may speak with me tomorrow. If they do, I'll pass along their words on RochesterFirst.com, Adam. All right, Jack, thank you. According to a Facebook post made by the company, there will be a funeral mass for Joe this Monday morning at St. John of Rochester.